During the warmer months of the year here in North Carolina, reptiles can be found in relative abundance if you know where to look. With elevated temperatures, the metabolic rates of these exothermic organisms are higher, and they therefore need to consume more food than normal, which can put animals such as snakes in close contact with humans more frequently than other times of the year. Often, completely harmless and commonly encountered species such as the black rat snake are killed for the fear that they could be venomous, or because they can grow quite large and appear unexpectedly. This video will show you why black rat snakes are so important to the health of the ecosystem, and why there is absolutely no reason to fear these beautiful and elusive animals. Alright guys, check it out. Look right here. That is a beautiful black rat snake. Now I would say from her size that this is probably a mature female. Now she's just sitting on this trail basking right now. Okay. We're gonna see how she reacts to being held. See her, she's pretty relaxed. She's not trying to get away right now. Hey, what's your name? Can I hold you? Can I hold you? Oh yeah, good girl. Check it out. Wow, what a beautiful specimen. Let me get off the path here. Oh, what a beautiful specimen this is, guys. Oh my gosh. This is definitely a mature female black rat snake. Now this is definitely one of the most common non-venomous snakes that we have here in North Carolina and across most of the eastern U.S. These guys are found in a very wide variety of habitats, so these are really, really great urban colonists. So you can find these in very remote wilderness areas, areas of forest, you can find these in fields. Anywhere that they have cover and they have food, you can usually find some black rat snakes. Now these are completely non-venomous snakes. These guys are constrictors. So you can see that she has a pretty elongated body. Once again, this is a mature individual. This is about as large as you usually see them. Although there are some that get up to around six or seven feet, uh, but those are definitely not normal, especially for being here in the Piedmont of North Carolina, where it's not warm quite as much as, as a place like the coast. These snakes are usually not aggressive, now occasionally you handle one that, that will give you a nip or two, uh, and that happens sometimes, that's okay. But usually they are very docile in nature. They have absolutely zero interest uh, in biting you or harming you, especially if they're out in nature, like in your yard or your garden. Even if you approach them, very, very rarely will they ever act aggressively towards a human. Um, now, if they are in your yard, that's actually a great thing. So rat snakes, as the name would suggest, are small rodent specialists. So she would love to prey on mice, on rats, voles, lemmings. At this size, she can even eat squirrels. So these are excellent pest control. These guys actively hunt uh, rodents. And let me tell you, you would much rather have a black rat snake like this out in your yard than squirrels in your attic or, or rats in your basement. Now, if you do find these, I've already made a video about how you can remove them from your yard if you wish to. However, I would not recommend it. I mean, these are an extremely important part of the ecosystem. As one of the largest snakes that we have in North Carolina, they make up that, that middle trophic layer. So they're predators of things like mice, like I've mentioned. They will occasionally take other prey like frogs and sometimes smaller snakes. Um, but they are also prey for top predators. Uh, for instance, I've seen plenty of uh, black rat snake carcasses that have been chewed up by things like opossums and sometimes you'll find them on power lines where a hawk left them um, So they do feed on many animals and they are preyed on by many animals as well Now they can live up to around 20 years in the wild the average size for an adult I believe is Four to six feet. So she's definitely pushing the upper limits of that maybe around five or six uh, but wow they really are absolutely gorgeous snakes. And now one really cool thing, let's go over here for a second. Rat snakes, you may not know because you see them on the ground a lot. Rat snakes are absolutely incredible at climbing trees. Check this out, let's see if she wants to climb today. Now, what they'll do is, you can't see from the outside, but under her skin, in that dorsal area right now, all her muscles are contracted, right? Now she has ribs. If you've ever seen a millipede move, where it kind of rows with different sets of legs, 
That is exactly what she's doing, and I'll let her go just so you can see. She is completely attached to this tree right now, uh, climbing up, but uh, all on her own. I'm not touching her or anything. Now, these scales on the bottom, on the dorsal half of her body, uh, are healed, so they have excellent friction against the tree trunk, right? And then she uses those very powerful abdominal muscles to kind of row her ribs forward and climb up a tree. And oftentimes, you can find rat snakes climbing up trees just like this to get to other favorite food items, which include bird eggs, which are highly nutritious and pretty easy to find unless the mother bird is around to defend the nest. Hey, so these snakes being one of the most common in North Carolina, it's okay, the girl, it's okay. Being one of the most common snakes in North Carolina, you are quite likely to see them if you spend any time outside in the state. And probably the reason that she was out today, if it wasn't just to hunt, is actually to look for a mate. Black rat snakes mating season in North Carolina and the Piedmont is usually right in April, uh, which is what month we're in right now, mid-April. And so during this month, you're likely to see a lot more black rat snakes coming out and their breeding will continue through May. Um, now, just like they hunt, a female like this can taste the air and smell the pheromones that a male black rat snake would release and that just tells her that he's ready to breed. So during the months of April and May you are more a lot more likely to see these guys around. Um, so if you do see them slithering through a yard that's probably what they're doing is chasing one another and then when they actually do breed they usually go up in trees um, and they they sometimes lay their eggs within the tree itself and that's just to keep their nest safe from predators. All right, guys, we're right back here where we caught this animal. Now, if you ever do uh, end up interacting with a wild snake like this, always put it back just where you found them. This is probably the reason they were there in the first place. She has been an absolutely amazing subject for today's video. I'm so glad I got to show you guys this absolutely beautiful specimen. Let's get her back in the wild. They're so silky and they move. Well everyone, that's just about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the black rat snake. Don't forget to subscribe for more educational wildlife content coming every other Saturday morning. Thanks so much for watching and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.